Nuclear power was very popular in the 1960s and 70s, but after many unforgettable disasters, global interest in nuclear energy diminished heavily and the demand for fossil fuel-based energy grew. But what if the United States was powered entirely by nuclear energy today? No, not that nuclear energy. Nuclear power facilities once opened across the US, promising an almost infinite source of clean energy, except for that pesky waste by products. That future didn't pan out, and nuclear energy has become a paria of the energy industry today. The discovery of nuclear fission in 1938 presented two alternatives for the US, while nuclear fission led to incredibly devastating weapons that threatened all life on Earth, it also unveiled a novel form of energy production that could power hundreds of thousands of households without fossil fuel pollution. Pollution was also considerably low. In the late 1900s, several developed countries relied heavily on nuclear power. Between 1950 and 1980, hundreds of nuclear power reactors were developed worldwide, boosting global electricity capacity from 1 gigawatt in 1960 to 100 gigawatts in the late 1970s. 1 gigawatt can power 750,000 houses. 100 gigawatts can power 75 million households and enterprises. That's amazing growth for something so hard and expensive to develop. Nuclear power is one of the safest power sources when air pollution deaths are considered. Fossil fuels cause 1,000s more deaths than nuclear power. Nuclear power kills fewer people than coal or oil. Today, the US still has plenty of nuclear power plants. 93 operating nuclear reactors generate 19% of the US's energy. However, more plants have been dismantled than expected in the recent decade. While nuclear power may disappear from the US, what if the US was powered solely by nuclear energy today? But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video, now would be a great time to subscribe. More fun geography videos are just one click away. Nuclear energy generates 95.5 gigawatts for the US from 93 reactors at 55 power plants in 26 states. US nuclear power is third after coal and natural gas, but above hydropower, solar, wind, and other renewables. However, production has stagnated since 2000. For nuclear power to supply enough electricity for the entire country, it would need to grow by 500% of its existing capacity, with all new reactors contributing around 1 gigawatt of energy. Over half of the US's nuclear power reactors generate more than 1 gigawatt of energy, with the greatest at 1.5 gigawatts. That's a lot of power from one plant, which helped make nuclear power popular. In addition to supplying more electricity, the new power plants would need to be better distributed to reach every city. One is in California, one in Arizona, and one is in Washington State. Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico have no nuclear plants. Each nuclear reactor is in the east. Logistically, long transmissions make it difficult to transport nuclear energy from Illinois to California. This many nuclear power plants is possible but pricey. A 1 gigawatt nuclear power facility costs $6 billion to $9 billion to develop. The US needs 400 nuclear power facilities, which would cost $2.4 to $3.6 trillion. Growing nuclear energy to this level has another problem. Radioactive trash. Low-level waste releases around 1% of the total radioactivity of nuclear waste. Intermediate-level waste emits about 4%, and high-level waste emits 95%. High-level waste is harmful and dangerous for humans, but it's a small portion of nuclear waste. Even intermediate-level waste is just 7% of low-level nuclear waste. 90% of nuclear waste by volume is processed trash that decays in three decades. Radioactive power plants aren't overflowing with nuclear waste they must get rid of daily. In fact, the quantity of nuclear waste generated in the US since the 1960s could fit into a regular American football field with a 30-foot depth very little waste. If the US ran on nuclear power, radioactive waste would be a small issue. US nuclear power stations produce 2,000 tons annually. If the US ran on nuclear power, that quantity would be 10,000 tons per year. It would take eight years to cover a football field with nuclear waste, and the US has plenty of space. While keeping nuclear waste is typically unpopular, 34 states store it in some manner. If you live in the US, you presumably reside in a state that stores nuclear waste, but you've likely never heard of it or felt any harmful consequences from it. Nuclear waste has become a bogeyman for nuclear critics, yet it's a complex byproduct of a power source with potential upsides. Most of the globe still runs in coal, natural gas, and oil. 
The planet is suffering. As climate change wrecks natural systems, the U.S. obtains 60% of its energy from fossil fuels and coal. This creates 2,000 million metric tons of CO2 a year in the U.S. Nuclear energy produces no emissions during energy generation, only during plant building. Ton for ton, per gigawatt, nuclear energy creates fewer emissions than hydropower, wind turbines, or solar energy since there is less to develop and manufacture. Currently, electricity production accounts for 25% of U.S. emissions. If the U.S. was powered exclusively by nuclear energy, it would cut annual carbon dioxide and particulate emissions by 1 billion tons. All of Africa emits roughly 1,300 million metric tons of CO2 each year. If the U.S. could eliminate that much carbon dioxide equivalent from its annual production, it would help avert catastrophic climate change. The United States will never be powered fully by nuclear energy, but nuclear power must be rethought as a climate change solution. Wind, solar, and other renewable energy sources are expanding, but they're not yet dominant. Nuclear power has a stronger influence in less time. Right now, we need every second. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. You can do that here. And if you want to catch more of my videos, you can do that right here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.